What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard and I'm back at it again with another video. This time it's a table talk actually with nobody less but Dr. Tony Huge. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. All right. What's up, man? Yeah, good to see you. Back at it again with another video. Yeah. yeah. Today with Dr. Tony Huge, man. Feels good to finally have a chat, you know? Uh, yeah. All the way from the Netherlands. So I've been using your products and, and such. I had a couple questions, you know? Um, since the documentary Enhanced 2 is coming up. How do you feel about it? Are you excited? I'm excited, but it's a lot of stress because there's so many variables. You know, trying to transform another person is, trying to transform yourself is hard yeah, enough. Yeah. Trying to transform another person is really hard. It's a 24 hour a day thing because, you know, if you're coaching someone normally, you know, you might coach them for an hour yeah. of training and you might tell them what diet to do. Mm -hmm. But this is 24 hour a day yeah. it has to be perfect when we're trying to build a year's worth of muscle in one week because it's totally possible it's doable but yeah. it takes a very select it takes a, a very hard-working individual willing to treat it like a 24 hour a day job to have spectacular results but what can we expect like except for lots and lots of needles probably <laughs> yeah is the more injections that someone can handle the better we at least want to use uh growth hormone and insulin preferably three times a day uh but if yeah. if they were able to handle more injections we might be injecting igf des six times a day so it just depends on what the person can handle when we had kenny and russo here you know uh mm -hmm. i think amount of injections is a little overwhelming to them. So we tried to stick to roughly three times a day injections. And I, I threw in maybe another yeah. pre-workout injection a couple times. So they got to experience a lot of different compounds, but it depends on the individual, whether yeah. they're picking themselves with needles all day. Yeah, I understand. I'm, I'm not a big fan of needles myself. So, uh, so I probably know how that feels, you know. How are you feeling, you know, after all the transformations? I mean, you did the 30 day transformation first gained a whole lot of muscle i've seen it i followed it you know um after that you did the eight day transformation i mean how are you feeling how's your body how's your mind uh tired because in the u.s i can't really <laughs> relax 100 percent of the way when i'm in asia i can relax because i just feel freedom and and happiness yeah. of but in in the u.s it's it's really hectic here so to be you know training so much and training other people so much and, and using so many compounds and and just trying to take care of myself and other people is it's exhausting so i'm looking forward to getting back to asia although we'll probably do a mexico trip before asia so how how often do you go to asia actually I, my preference would be to be there about half of the year and okay, then yeah, yeah. Across the world the other half of the year but it's always different sometimes i go for two months sometimes i go for three weeks uh, but I don't want to go for just one week because it's 24 hours of travel time or yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 hours of travel time sometimes. So I think that's a lot <laughs> that too frequently. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So can we expect the next show or something like a bodybuilding competition or do you need rest like you said or? Well, I have What's the to next get, competition. Yeah, Generation Iron and National Geographic will be filming me at the Tahoe show, Lake Tahoe, yeah, yeah. Nevada. Uh, August 19th so I think okay. it's or 17th uh, so I have basically one month to prepare right it's uh, it's the 16th I, I think it's it's somewhere around the 16th of next month so I have one month from right now to prep another transformation right <laughs> yeah this time it would be to get as shredded as possible to, to get yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like like I can get really shredded if I'm really disciplined I'm just never disciplined I use the chemistry as a shortcut I, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. admitting I use steroids as a shortcut so that I <laughs> don't have to do much of a prep and I can just walk on stage 365 days a year. But to yeah. walk on stage and really kick ass, that does require a little bit of a prep. So you're ready? You're ready to do this and be consistent like every day for, what's, let's say, 30 days? Or it's kind of inspiring the way you're saying it. It's kind of like I, if I say <laughs> yes, then I really have to follow through and, and commit, which I'm not a very <laughs> – stuff but yeah i have to because there's too many there's too much people investing too much money into filming the build up of this show and the show that yeah. I, I don't want to let them down so it's more it's bigger than myself and of course i don't want to let the fans down in the sense that i put a lot of crazy science from the future of bodybuilding 
out there yeah. in order to give an adequate representation of what it's capable of i actually have to use it on myself sometimes so yeah what are you going to use for the next prep or you want to keep that a secret no it's fine it's mostly injectable sarms so okay, like ligandrol lgd yeah. and s23 yeah. those would be the two main ones uh, okay okay i'm not ruling out completely steroids but if i do steroids for the competition it's just going to be it would likely just be winstrol and just like okay. right before the show but you're keeping the trt basis right yeah i'll keep yeah I'll obviously keep about three so a high high trt a little bit beyond trt maybe like 300 milligrams of test so then i'll drop it way down so that i walk on stage with like natural test levels plus the sarms plus possibly the winstrol depending on whether I think it, uh, it's worth the conditioning. So what about ACP, the other SARM, ACP 105, I believe? Why yeah. would you use any of that? Those are good, but I haven't experimented enough with them to find the optimal dosage for my body. And I'm okay. going to be doing experiments during this, uh, during this uh, prep, but I'm doing sort of different, different experiments, like, like this blood glucose monitor. So, oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so now I can see. Yeah, with the scan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I'm crazy. That yeah. Plus, plus, like, uh, I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna use a lot of clenbuterol for the competition, but I'll use a little okay. bit of clenbuterol along with nembivolol to block the heart side effects of the clenbuterol. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, so that's another experiment. Uh, again, I will probably only be on clenbuterol for a total of five, five or five days between now and the competition. So I'm not relying on it. Uh, but there's other little experiments on it. I don't want to do another a SARM experiment when I already know that S23 gets me super shredded. Okay, so um, what about the products, man? The new, like, enhanced athlete products. Like, you had a new line. You're busy with a new product line, right? So can you give a little bit spoilers or what can we expect? Or Yeah, the, the sleep. Actually, this is a sample of the sleep formula that I just drank last night, and it tasted really good. Uh, and good. I felt pretty relaxed on it. Uh, I'm probably going to make modifications to it to make it a little more strong, a little stronger. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. All the products are going to be really strong. So <laughs> right now we're in the process of just beta testing all the products before final approval of the formulas. And we're close. Yeah. I'll give final approval of the formulas maybe in less than a week from now and then production mm -hmm. for about a month and then the whole new product line will be out. Okay, wait, you know, because... I got the arachidonic acid right here. Yeah. One of the products I rely on, definitely. Oh, that you know, we, Yeah, I definitely got to take that before the workout today. <laughs> we got the organic, or the organ support, of course, and can't forget the slim pills, right? Yeah, life The best of the best. Yeah, definitely lifesavers, man. So, yeah, that was probably it about the questions I got, man. All right. Cool. Well, yeah, you, good job on getting the YouTube channel going. I'm excited to see what Thanks kind of... Thanks a lot, man. We'll definitely come back to Amsterdam within the next, probably within the next year. So just stay... Okay, up. yeah, sure, man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so it was good to talk to you, man. I really right. appreciate it. I'm a big fan and uh, thanks a whole lot, man. All Have right, a good dude. day, okay? You're welcome. You too. <laughs> Bye. So that was it for the table talk with Dr. Tony Huge from Enhanced Athlete. Thanks a whole lot for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, me and Dr. Tony Huge will be doing videos of these more often. So when you have any questions for me or for Dr. Tony Huge, feel free to ask them because we will definitely discuss them later on. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Instagram or Dr. Tony Huge's Instagram and blessed.